All right, just checking in on the garden. The rain planted a row here, some leafy greens, but we need more of these hoops. We've usually had enough of those, but we're planting more food now. Let me see if we have any in our garden shade. I picked up a bunch of these. Uh, they're like bendable pipe. It's half inch. This says it's an aqua jet pipe. I'm not sure what that is. And I picked up a bunch of these at the local thrift store when we first moved here. And I thought, hmm, I could, <laughs> I wasn't sure I was gonna use them for, but man, they've been super helpful. I picked up like a bunch of them for like five bucks, but some of them I need to cut down. They're too long. But you see all the row here. We have some pipes that are already there, but Lorraine needs some more of these. Just to measure this, that's about 51 inches. What's up, ducks? Bernice. It's all right, Bernice. Probably should cut this back. <laughs> it looks like a lot of leaves are growing right here. You know, we're not leaf farmers. All right, that didn't really put a dent <laughs> in that bush, but I did get some tomatoes. Tommy toes. <laughs> All right, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and uh, I'm doing something that I've never done today, and that is a soil test. Home and Garden Soil Sample Kit. It looks very overwhelming. Uh, now this is gonna test our soil in our, our garden. I've talked to many uh, local farmers in the area, uh, market gardeners. I've talked to my friend Casey over at Honey Tree Farms and everybody says the most important thing that you can do for your garden and growing food is do a soil test. And I've never done it and it's been always in back of my mind like I should do a soil test. I should do a soil test. I should do a soil test. I've had this packet sitting on my desk for I think a year. I don't know. But uh, I'm finally getting out here forcing myself to do this test and earlier I collected all the dirt samples. Alright, so we need to take 12, at least 12, soil samples from our garden and it's going to be in various spots of our garden. I'm going to need a shovel and go in about 8 inches and then put the soil in the bucket. I'm really just reading the directions that uh, the soil packet came with, just filling it up in various areas of the garden on really specifically where we plant. Alright, now we mix it around. probably have too much soil in here. <laughs> I don't need this much. All right, I think we're good here. All right, we have our dirt here. We did about 13 soil samples on various spots of the garden. Now this kit we got at the North Carolina Extension Office. I'm sure if you Google the nearest extension office, you will find it. And this is a free packet. Uh, they do charge, it says here, December through April, four bucks. And April through November, free. And it came with this box. We put together the box. It says don't use tape. 
I'm just I'm just reading the directions here. I've never done this before, so do your own research. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so it says here we have to fill up to the red line. Too much. All right, a box full of soil, and then we have to put uh, put my name, address, and then we put it in a box, and we mail it out. Now it looks like this is going to a facility in Raleigh, North Carolina. We could actually take it, the soil sample, to Raleigh, to the facility, but I'm not driving to Raleigh. Uh, but, uh, so we're gonna mail it out. It does not say how long it takes. Okay, it says here we could go to a website and find out online. Awesome. All right, that's it. That's my first soil sample. First soil sample ever. Uh, so, you know, and the soil, I think getting a soil sample will determine uh, maybe some things that I'm missing in our garden, uh, such as just different kind of amendments. Maybe we need to add some lime. I mean, some minerals, and hopefully it'll help us dig deeper <laughs> into growing food. Uh, take it to that next level on growing better food for our family. But I will definitely let you know the results of the soil test when we get them. So I got a chance to come out in the garden for a little bit. I've been in full on production mode in my wood shop. We have Homesteaders of America coming up in October. And so I've been making product for that. Uh, we do have an Etsy store, a Sow the Land Etsy store, but uh, we had to put a hold on that, uh, put it in vacation mode because um, honestly, we just can't keep up with some of the orders that we're getting, but that's gonna be back up in October. Uh, after we get back from Homesteaders of America, uh, but I'm trying to concentrate uh, making stuff for homesteaders and also trying to keep up with um, stocking our store in Asheville. <laughs> it, uh, it can be a little uh, a bit much, um, but I'm super thankful for all of it. I'm thankful for you guys watching our YouTube channel. Um, our YouTube channel is continuing to grow and we're still working hard over here trying to, trying to make this life work, but um, we appreciate you guys. We love you guys. I guess I better get back to work. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. This was a good break for me. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. But I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.